Okay, I think I can make this one fast. Uh, walking through the uh, discussion groups today, I found one here that uh, I think needs to have a quick look at. And Draco Lutz, Lulutz here wants to know how to use them Zambies. Anyway, uh, played around with a few things and I think I found out how to do it. And let's have a quick look. I'm going to start source film maker create a session and load the stage what I'm going to do now is I'm going to bring in two models I'm going to bring in an HWM scout and I'm going to bring in a player scout and I'll tell you why I'm going to do that as soon as I get them into play so there's my HWM scout I'm going to bring in a player scout As soon as I learn how to type. There's the HWM Scout and already you can start seeing differences. Okay, I'm going to go into the motion editor. I'm going to put both of these guys down on the stage. Okay, now I'm going to separate them. Scout 1 is the HWM Scout, and Scout 2 is my Player Scout. So, first thing, HWM Scouts. If you go into the Scout and look at his skin groups, you're only going to find five skin groups. If you look at the Player Scout, you're going to find seven skin groups. Okay, so if you look here at the HWM scout again, none of these skins are zombie skins. Come on. This holds true for all the HWM models. As far as I know, I haven't experimented with all of them, but for the Scout in particular, the HWM Scout has no zombie skin. So now I'm going to delete the HWM Scout and just leave the Player Scout. Looking at the skin groups of the Player Scout, if I come down here to either 5 or 6, I think it is, we end up with the blue and the red no sorry it's probably four and five the red and the blue zombie skins but oh my god he's missing legs he's missing arms he's missing everything the reason for that is that the zombie is created from two different models. What you need to do now is you need to go into uh, create a new animation set for model, type in zombie, and find the scout zombie model. And this is all his innards, his left and right arm, and that kind of thing. Okay, so. I'm going to select him, get him down on the stage now. So there we go. We've got the zombie. The zombie is now here, but how do I get them together? Well, what you have to do now is you have to take all the parts of the scout and all the parts of the scout zombie model and meld them or lock them together. So you start with the body, root transform from the scout to the zombie, BP, uh, BIP pelvis, BIP spine zero, BIP spine one, BIP, uh, BIP spine two, BIP spine three. Once that's done, go into the arms, do the same thing. Collar left, upper arm left, lower arm left, hand left. Collar right, upper arm right, 
lower arm right, bip ham right. Okay, uh, now we're going to go into the legs. Same thing, lock them all up. No toe. And then into the weapon bone, and now we have the unknowns. There's no weapon bone on the zombie model. Unknowns. Now here you're going to see you're looking for a pack top and a pack middle. Not visible. What you have, oh, there's pack visible there. Uh -huh. And pack top. Okay. Once you have the zombie locked up you can collapse all that click on the zombie and give the zero slider a roll you want to slide that zero slider all the way to the right now if we come in here we should find that his bone structure and his zombie skins are all together kinda of looks a little bit invisible not sure if that's going to show through when we do our renders or not. Might have to actually go in and edit the VMT to get rid of some of those uh, ghost type textures. But I didn't get that far. Anyway, if I right click on the scout now, I can give this guy a rig. Give him a rig biped simple. And basically, it's just like using a regular model. There's his rig parts. I'm going to go and grab his leg, grab his left leg. It's the one with the bone on it. Grab his foot. And if I move his foot, look at that. The rig works. Everything looks fine. Pelvis. Everything's moving fine. And the reason why is because you've got everything that is matched with the actual scout locked up to the zombie. Anyway, that's the way you use the zombie models in Source Filmmaker, and I hope you've found this informative. With that, I say Private Jack out.